four whole years. Seventh till now. This will be my fifth year. I've ever thought I would quit. I would never thought about quitting because I don't quit like that. I just didn't, I didn't feel like it was track. It didn't feel the same like it did before, like last year and the year before. It didn't feel like it was there. Like, it's hard to explain the feeling. It doesn't feel like I was actually like there, there, like physically and mentally. Like, it was like... It's the only way I feel free. Going to meet, meeting new people, making new friends. And you run an event and you feel really good afterwards. You're like, I just ran that. Like, I ran an 800. I just ran a 400. I ran a mile. Like, it's just the feelings of, like, accompli accomplishing that. And I don't feel it this year. I just... I put it all out there during practice. Put it all out there. I went to the practice when I can go to the practices. Like, I'm not there at all when I am there. When I can be. The reason why I miss track practice is because work. Orthodontist appointments. Like, I can't help orthodontists. That's medical. Like, I literally can't help that work. That's work. Like, I'm not going to miss work because of track. It's a high school fucking sport. I'm not going to... I'm just not... I'm just not going to miss that. Like, that's that's stupid. I shouldn't have to do that. I am 17 years old. Like, I have a life. I have... I have a life. I need... I, I need money. And like I'm it all out there. And, like, I'm... Like, they're... They're, they're pretty much saying, like... They're just acting like I'm not there. And they act like... And the new coach... Pushes us too hard. Especially for distance. Like... Our, an easy workout... Or an easy day... Is like a two mile run. A run. Two to three mile run. And afterward we do sprints. And they call that easy. Is that we're not trying hard enough when we are putting it all out there and then punishing us when we're literally putting it all out there we're trying and then uses the track meet the track meet uses the uh, PR times from track meets as an as a like an excuse against against us he's like well you you ran that and you ran the 800 and this time why can't you run it now and this time a track meet and practice are two different things. Two different fucking things. At a track meet, you have adrenaline rush. You run faster. It just comes to you. And also, we're running to fucking win. Practice, we're not trying to fucking kill ourselves until we're falling over. Because if I ran an 800 at the speed that I need to, I will be having an asthma attack and I'll be on the ground. I, I can't put it all out there. Like, I'm saving my energy during a practice. I'm not trying to push it all out there and then fucking be dead the rest of the day and, like, feel like shit. I have severe asthma. It doesn't help that I drool, but it brings my fucking anxiety level way the fuck down. And when I run, I cramp up. And their excuse is just stretch or drink water. Well, fucking water is makes it worse. If I drink something before I run, it will I will fucking cramp up even worse than I already was. If I physically look like I'm in pain, I'm internally in fucking pain. And they're not seeing that. Nobody sees that. They just see that, oh, we have sucky times. Well, you're fucking making us run, run an 800... Then run a 600, then run a 400, all fucking full speed with time. Of course we're going to be fucking slow. We won't do that shit at a meet. We don't run 800, 600, and 400 back to fucking back. That's not how that works at meets. 
Usually we run two or three events. And they're all spread out. The last meet I went to, he put me in three, he put me in three meter, 300 meter hurdles. He knows I can't fucking do that shit. And he put it in there anyway because I mispracticed. I had to fucking work. If I have to leave early for work, I will leave fucking early for work. It's a high school fucking sport. I will leave when I need to fucking leave. I can't help that. I have a responsibility. I have a job. I have, res- I have bills to pay. I pay for my car. I pay for my phone. I pay for food for myself. I buy my own clothes. Like, how am I supposed to do that if I'm missing work? How the fuck does that add up, chief? So, at the California meet, they put me in a 400, 300 meter hurdles, and an 800. Those three events were back to back. And then he comp- and then the other day, he told me my time was slow for the 800. So I went to tell him. You put me in a 400, 3 meter hurdles, and an 800. Those events were all back to back. He was like, no, they weren't. You wouldn't have time to do all those events. I'm like, they were back to back. You don't run track. You don't run track. Those were all back to back. I will show you the fucking paper. They were all back to back. Yeah, everybody on the team. I ran three events back to back. And wonder and he wondered why my fucking time was slow for the 800. I fucking sprinted a 400, killed my fucking legs on 300 meter hurdles because I couldn't jump them, so I had to fucking step over them. And he continued to fucking tell me my time is slow. Of course, it's gonna be fucking slow. What the fuck? What the fuck? And then Monday he chewed me out for not being there that Thursday and Friday because I had to. I had to go to work. Thursday, I had to be home early to sign off for a package. Like, if I didn't sign up for that package, I was getting it that day. I had to sign off on it, and then I had to go to work. Friday, I didn't... Nobody went to practice Friday. Literally, people told me, like, they didn't go. I wasn't there for practice. Like, I had work. He was like, that's not an excuse. Like, yes, that is. It's my job. It's a job. I have a responsibility. I have to go. Like, there's there's no question to that. Like... Varsity team. I'm like... It's fucking high school track. It's fucking high school track. You're dealing with teenagers who have fucking jobs and lives. As I said, I am 17 years old. I have to have money. Okay? I am i don't believe in not fucking working. I'm not... He pretty much just said, choose, my, choose track over my fucking job. Number one. When I started my job, I told them I did track. I put all my, I gave all my track meets. So all those days, I don't fucking work. And most of the track meets are on Fridays. Fridays, I work till 12.30 at night. That's $75 a night. And since we're open till midnight now, that's $75 a night, working till 12, 12.30. I'm fucking losing money. And he says I'm never there. practice early to go to work, I'm going to fucking work to get my money. Okay? Literally, literally. And then try to tell me that I need to change my work schedule. Like, I'm not changing my fucking work schedule. Night shift starts at 5 p.m. As you guys know, I work at Sonic in Columbia. It is a 40-minute drive to south side of Columbia. 40 minutes from Boonville. From my house to Nifong. I work at Sonic and Nifong. That's 40 minutes. I have to be out of practice by 3.45 and get home. Get It's a 10 minute drive to my house. Because I live in town. It's a 10 minute drive. I go home. I literally have to run. I'm sprinting to change. And get back in my car. And get back out to the interstate. It's another, like, another 8 to 10 minutes. Come, going from my house. All the way up Bingham. To the interstate. And I have to be on the interstate. By 415 and 420. If I'm not on the interstate by that time, I'm late. I'm late to work. That the coaches have gone to shit. They're shit as fuck. They're literally shit as fuck. That's why half the people quit now. That's why Garrett fucking quit. Because of the fucking coaches. I've been doing track. 
for five years, I've never thought about quitting. Till now. You told me it wasn't going tomorrow. I had tomorrow off now. I could have made 75 bucks tomorrow night. But no. I had a fucking track meet. That I'm not even fucking going to now. I gave up. I just... As soon as I was, we were about to start a workout, I was like, Molly, I'm I'm going home. I quit. Like, I'm done with this. Like, I can't do it no more. This is fucking stupid. I'm not, I'm not here just for shits and fucking giggles. I'm here to compete. I'm here to have fun with people. I'm here to experience going to other schools. Have, making friends. Which is really good for your mental health to make new friends and be around people. But... I'm not, no. It's fucking bullshit. It's literally fucking bullshit.